21-year-old Jack Teixeira, also known as Jack the Dripper on Discord, is the dumbest Discord user on the platform. They caused one of the biggest intelligence breaches by releasing several documents a week, totaling up to over 300 pieces of classified information. And what was the reasoning behind this? To be cool. So just to get you caught up to speed on how these leaks surfaced over the internet, it started off with the Biden administration noting that Twitter uh, had a little bit of confidential documents on it. And of course, to figure out where this information leak came from, they decided to track down the source. And it turns out on the same day, April 5th, these documents were shown on a pro-Russian telegram chat called Donbass Devushka. I'm not going to pronounce it because last time I tried, I was completely wrong. So Google's just doing the heavy lifting for me here. But that still isn't the source, because diving back a little bit deeper, it turns out that the leaks were posted on 4chan. But that's not the end of these leaks, because if you go back a little bit more, it turns out that these confidential documents were leaked on the Minecraft Earthmap Discord server on March 4th. And why were they leaked? Because of an argument. We had a handful of degenerate Discord users that were complaining and talking about the Ukraine versus Russia war. And of course, just to really win the argument, to take home the trophy of, yes, I want an internet argument today, someone decided to post leaked documents. Nice. But the journey of these leaked documents didn't start there. If you go back a little bit more, on March 1st, these documents showed up on the YouTuber Wow Mouse Discord server. At least 30 plus documents were planted upon this most beautiful and sacred Discord server. But that is not where they originated from. In fact, they originated from the one and true of the holiest places on Discord, the Thug Shaker Central server, which uh, is painted by the news as a Discord group with a focus on guns, racist memes, and of course, gaming. And as early as January 2023, 300 plus documents were posted on this Discord server, which is completely impeccable. Now, of course, for us internet users, this is the hottest meme on planet Earth. But of course, in the Pentagon, they were freaking out. They gone, they gone hit the Pentagon! So now, of course, what got the the whole entire world's panties in a knot. What is in the content of these leaks? And of course, the Washington Post did journalism that I could never do because I hate talking to people. And they interviewed one of the members of the Thug Shaker Discord server. The documents were often listed as Ukraine versus Russia at first. However, it slowly spiraled into just intelligence about everything. The leaks that I was aware of were just the basic 4chan maps. It was locations of troops and the number of casualties. But these leaks expand even further. It turns out that these leaks revealed that the U.S. has been spying on basically everyone at this point. Classified intelligence on Ukraine shows that the U.S. has been monitoring the Ukrainian president's calls, and they also had a document showing where Ukraine's air defense is weak and the size of their military battalions, which is, of course, not a good document to share all around the world, especially to your opposition. These documents also showed that the United States did a pretty bang-up job at spying on Russia and getting into their intelligence. But of course, now that that these documents are public, the lives of those spies are now at risk. And just other places that the US was spying on was United Arab Emirates, Egypt, South Korea, Israel, and they apparently had some information about Canada on how pro-Russian hackers have accessed Canada's gas network, which, fellas, please, the gas prices here are already awful. And uh, one thing these news outlets fail to mention is that I also saw a leak that the US government owes me $5 million, but I, I just don't know the source on it. So one question that pops up on every single news article that I've been forced to read to make this video, how did the leak happen? And here's the thing, people at the Pentagon didn't really scheme up this whole entire thing. They didn't think that some 21-year-old moronic Discord user is going to share all this confidential information on their own little Discord server. Now, a funny anecdote is that I was talking to someone who works with confidential information, and in one of their training things, they actually had to talk about how they should not be sharing classified information on War Thunder forums. But getting back on topic, our little Jack boy here was part of the intelligence wing, and they had access to SCIFs, which is Sensitive Compartmented Information Facilities, and basically no one is allowed to bring in any electronic devices that could be used to take photographs or make video or audio recordings. Now Jack here, our idiot savant, maybe just out of pure dumb luck, made the fantastic idea of printing out these classified documents and removing them from the classified facilities, going home and just uploading them to Discord by taking a photo of them. He was too stupid to use a photocopier, so he just took a photo of them with his phone. Not even with the PDF scanning app, just raw dog camera photos. And of course he posted it on the Thug Shaker Central Discord server, and we already know what a 
Discord server is, but my god, the media is fantastic at betraying this Discord server. Thug Shakers Central, united by their mutual love of guns, military gear, and god, the group of roughly two dozen, mostly men and boys, formed an invitation-only clubhouse in 2020 on Discord, an online platform popular with gamers. But they paid little attention last year when the man some call OG, and they're <laughs> the best part is there were actually a news post explaining what OG meant, and they posted a message laden with strange acronyms and jargon. But he revered OG, the elder leader of their tiny tribe, who claimed to know secrets that the government withheld from ordinary people. If the Thug Shaker Central Discord server is a, a, a tribe, then my Discord server with 50,000 members is a cult. But of course, the picture painted by most articles is that the whole reason why Jack, the dumbest Discord user, decided to post these classified documents was, of course, to try and look cool. I've seen plenty of cringy ways that people try to look cool in Discord with their super edgy Discord profile photos, maybe some weird names, but this really does take the cake. Now, of course, the thing with leaking classified documents is that you are now hunted by the FBI. So the hunt officially begins on the 5th of April when someone posted these classified documents on Twitter and the Biden administration took note. And my God, things moved incredibly fast. On around April 10th, the FBI interviewed a user of social media platform one, user one, to translate all this legal jargon, the FBI interviewed a Discord user from the Thug Shaker Central Discord server. Yes, imagine being 16 years old and having the FBI contact you for an interview about you looking at classified documents. I know if I was 16, I would crap myself. But throughout this investigation, the FBI realized that the Thug Shaker server was a server for discussing geopolitical affairs and current and historical wars, which makes sense why these leaks were posted in the first place. Now, I did call Jack the stupidest Discord user on the platform, and this really does ring true because not only only did they leak classified documents, which is beyond stupid, like incomprehensibly stupid, but they also had the worst internet privacy setup of all time. In fact, on the Thug Shaker server, Jack called himself Jack, said that he lived in Massachusetts, and even claimed that he was in the United States Air National Guard. Who does this? And it turns out that maybe Jack had a couple of cute little video calls with the lads on Discord because they were able to identify that he was a white male who was clean cut and was between 20 and 30 years old. And two days later, Discord did what they do best. Here's the thing. Discord does work with the FBI if you do something illegal on their platform. And it can range from leaking classified documents all the way to leaking Genshin Impact. I know, quite the contrast. But given any piece of legal process, a company can subpoena Discord and get information on your account. For example, in this DMCA case, Discord is commanded to produce the following information. Names, addresses, telephone numbers, email addresses, and IP addresses or other information within your possession to identify the Discord user, and this is where they'd put in Jack's Discord user, Jack the Dripper, managing the Discord channel, Thug Shaker Central. Now, they probably wouldn't use this exact piece of documentation, but Discord will willingly hand over your information associated with your Discord account. But Jack made it extremely easy, because what he did is he subscribed to Discord's premium tier, Nitro. And Jack... Once again, the dumbest Discord user on the planet had their payment information, their credit card attached to their account, which has their name, and of course, when you get past this menu, it has your address, and the billing address is the same as the address on the employment paperwork of Jack's employment with the U.S. Air National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It turns out that after these classified documents hit the internet, 4chan, Telegram, and Twitter on April 5th, Jack, the next day at work, decided to use his government computer to search classified intelligence reporting for the word leak. He wanted to see whether or not he was safe. And doing so, he just incriminated himself. You already know this is going to go one way. So one day after the FBI confirmed Jack's identity on April 13th, a swarm of military and police vehicles gathered gathered around the Teixeira family home as Jack, the dumbest Discord user, was taken into custody with his hands above his head walking backwards. And my goodness, thankfully they came in all this military gear in case Jack decided to booby trap his home home alone style and tried to escape using the Apache attack helicopter stored underneath the house in a secret villain base. Now, Jack did
did something that I thought was impossible. They effed around so much that they really hit the maximum of finding out. And Jack hit the courts as he was charged with some very serious offenses. Now here's the thing, before even going into this criminal case, the Pentagon said that his actions posed a very serious national security risk. When you have the Pentagon saying something is very serious, Saul Goodman ain't gonna help you, baby. <laughs> you're, you're screwed. And what's even worse is that the Pentagon said it believed the leak was a deliberate criminal act. And the reason why this is deliberate is because anyone that has a security clearance has to sign a non-disclosure agreement. So you signed a non-disclosure agreement. You read it with your eyes. You understand that you cannot leak this information. Once again, the dumbest Discord user Jack did it. So all indications are again, this is a criminal act. And the sad reality of this is that they are going to make a complete example of this dude. In fact, <laughs> Everyone's kind of saying that. They're going to throw everything at them. And this should honestly be a very fair warning for anyone that's doing any fraud-related things on Discord. Doing this stuff on Discord is just going to land you in hot water if you mess up. But of course, half of you are too cocky to realize that you'll eventually mess up, so I'll just let that happen and more content. But our boy Jack was charged with two separate counts under the Espionage Act. One count is the unauthorized retention and transmission of national defense information which could be used to the injury of the United States or to the advantage advantage of any foreign nation. And the other count is unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents or material. And if Mr. Jack Teixeira is proven guilty for both of those charges, he's facing up to 15 years in prison. Now whether or not Jack is guilty will be determined on Wednesday, April 19th, so set your calendars or just wait until the news covers it 30,000 times. I don't think they're weaseling their way out of this one, but thankfully they'll have 15 years of new Discord features to be excited for once they get out. Now I'm going to go a little bit on a tangent here and talk about the media and Discord because my god it hurts my brain every single time. Of course, Discord is in the news. Most of it is about these classified documents. And ABC News, of course, painting Discord as the worst platform on planet Earth. Discord, used by suspect accused of leaking classified documents, has become more popular with extremists. So yes, you viewer, if you use Discord, you might be an extremist. Anyways, since Discord's in the news, they of course made this massive article, which is basically a PR response, our response to the Pentagon leaks, by Clint Smith, who is the the chief legal officer, so this thing, <laughs> boring snore fest. I'm going to save you the headache of reading this, and basically the three points are, Discord is to have fun, it's a community platform, Discord doesn't allow hate speech and threats or violent extremism, so the Thug Shaker server wasn't allowed, and the final thing is that Discord is working with the United States Department of Defense and Justice. And that's basically the article. The rest of it's saying Discord is super good, they have good moderation, and let's completely ignore the fact that there's a whole bunch of malware hosted on Discord and a whole bunch of CP. In the news and the media, my god, these people are absolute vultures. Jack's parents, right? They probably had no idea this thing was coming. Like, do your parents know what you do on Discord? Probably not. My parents really don't even know what I do for my job. I just tell them I talk into a computer and I get paid by YouTube. So Jack's family, distressed by having their son taken away by the FBI, is now getting attacked by the media vultures. Call up here. How's he doing? Como é que ele está? Was this just a dumb mistake from a kid? You said I love you to your son in court. Is there anything you'd like to say now? <laughs> you yelled that, that you love him. Look at all these degenerate losers that are trying to report on people that have no idea what the heck is going on just to try and make money. And they're making their lives worse. God damn what a miserable existence for all of these people. Except the parents. I feel extremely sorry for them because they had no idea this was happening. And my god boys, the media gets even worse because they try to cover the story as much as possible so they can make as much ad revenue as possible. Heck, I even feel grimy for making two videos on the same topic. But the news... <laughs> They always take it further, baby. We have this wonderful video where neighbors react. <laughs> That's going to be a new YouTube channel to FBI's arrest. I'm going to be honest. What would be your reaction if the FBI came into your neighborhood and arrested your neighbor? You would say, I never thought this would happen. And let's see what these neighbors have to say. I don't think you ever really see this coming. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What is the point of this? But this same video gets even better because once again, we're scooping the bottom of the barrel. What other important information does everyone need to know about this incident? A lot of the neighbors I spoke with today say Jack Texera and his family are quiet, that many people here don't know them. One woman did tell me that Texera's mother does sell flowers from a farm stand in front of the family home in the spring and summer months. 
thank God that we all now know that this family sells flowers in the spring and summer months in front of their home. What would I ever have done without this knowledge? This is quite ridiculous, but it gets even worse. In fact, the New York Post, which, by God, this is such an awful article. <laughs> Pentagon leak suspect Jack Teixeira chose revealing senior quote for high school yearbook. Oh my God. Is this whole thing premeditated? Is his yearbook quote going to be, I am going to leak classified military documents? No, it's actions speak louder than words. Words. And it's not just New York Post doing this, it's Vice 2. Leaked classified documents also include role-playing game character stats. Yes, there is a news article on this photo of character stats in like a D&D &D analog game. This is more pointless than Roblox and Twitter drama combined. And it, it, it gets even more absurd, right? Because of course, this is going to be a politics thing, and American politics as a Canadian are always hilarious. Jack Teixeira is white, male, Christian, and anti-war. That makes him an enemy to the Biden regime. Of course, people are using this event as if it's a big chess piece move in this massive big game. And the media, of course, is going to gobble this up and they're going to slow drip all these leaks so that they can make as much money as possible from this one fella, Jack. Because at the very end of the day, Jack is just a really stupid person that somehow had access to top secret documents due to poor informational security by the military. So in this day and age, if you F around, you will find out. Anyways, stay tuned on the NTTS News Network, where I talk about how the Teixeira family van that was hijacked by a crackhead and ran into oncoming traffic during a police chase killing five was actually the cause of these military documents being leaked. That's a joke, by the way. This is all made up. I'm making fun of the media. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.